what's up everybody i thought this might be interesting to some of you guys uh i was going through my pedals and um getting ready to rearrange them in my studio and hook them into my um recording setup here and i thought i would uh, set them up once more in the configuration that i used uh, a couple years ago when uh, the band that i play with self uh, was able to open up for um, the killers on a couple of shows in the pacific northwest and canada and uh, this is the setup that i used for that Obviously, I had better wiring. Uh, this was all taken apart from my previous couple of moves, but I just thought I would piece it back together similar to how I had it, but I'm just using these longer cables and it's not very neat right now, but you can imagine it once was, uh, you know, very tight. And uh, let's see, it all fit, uh, let's see, inside of this bag right here, which is uh, pretty great. It's Mr. Mister Power. Um, I just found this little gig bag um and pedal board on Amazon and thought it was pretty good for what I needed to, to uh, use it for. You know, uh, it's got Velcro all, Velcro all over it. All right, so let's run through these pedals real quick. Um, obviously, Polytune, this is my tuner. Um, you know, this is very well lit up. It has a feature where you can just strum all of the strings and it will show you which ones are out of tune, but I never use that. I just do individual strings. Uh, and from that, we're running into the uh, Boss Noise Suppressor, the NS2. This is pretty much needed because uh, I've got some high gain stuff going on over here and um, it just really kind of helps, um, you know, not be quite so noisy with some of the guitars that I play. Um, and then let's see, that goes into the Whammy and, uh, you know, the Whammy does a lot of stuff. I pretty much only use it uh, for, you know, a, a lower octave or a higher octave. I use it on a couple of songs with the... Uh, the lower octave for like a heavier octave pedal thing and then I use it on the higher octave on a couple of things for like um, fake 12 string type parts and I use the the flurb or something on the holy grail to kind of make that sound a little more like a chorus 12 string. Uh, anyway so that goes into this pedal the gray stash which is a pedal by Fuzz Rocious that um, my friend Matt Mahaffey told me about and we uh, got similar pedals these are custom made uh, I wanted to get sort of the same thing that he was using on his recordings for, you know, so that I could kind of match the tone a little bit. This is a pretty interesting pedal. It's got, um, you know, a switch here, and uh, this one has got um, uh, three different circuits in it. Um, I always use the germanium circuit. Um, it's got a couple of these other transistors in here, but the germanium one is is uh, obviously the, the best sounding one. Uh, let's see, it goes from there into my old DM3 analog delay. I've had this pedal for a really, really long time. Probably has the original price tag on it of like, I think that says 125 bucks or something. And these are probably worth a little bit more money these days. I've had it for a long time and uh, I love that pedal. It has some really great uh, analog delay effects whenever you start twisting these knobs and all of that. Uh, I'll demo some of that in just a few minutes. Uh, and then it goes from there into this uh, Holy Grail pedal. And this is just a simple reverb. Um, I like to kind of have this in a pedal as opposed to using the reverb in an amp because usually when we uh, go out and play shows we rent amps and I only carry a guitar and a gig bag and a pedal board and so I like to be able to control my reverb and it's got a spring and a hall and a flurb and this flurb is uh, sort of like um, what I would use like a univibe for but obviously small pedal board I need to kind of condense so I, I try to get the similar sounds out of the other pedals. Um, yeah, so I've only got one high gain pedal here, um, most, mostly because we were playing an opening set and it really didn't require multiple uh, varieties of distortion, uh, but typically on my bigger pedal board I'll use this Route 66, which uh, is like a Tube Screamer uh, and a Dynacomp or something I believe in this. Uh, these were made by a company in Tennessee and uh, I love this pedal, I've had this one for a long time and uh, I've even got... Um, yeah, there was a remake of it that's slightly smaller, but I, I prefer the, the older one that I've got. I've had this for like 20-something years, probably. Uh, anyway, let me get a guitar plugged in, and I'll run this through my amp, and I'll show you guys kind of what some of this stuff sounds like. All right, cool. So let's go through this uh, pedal demo here. I've got my uh, Jazzmaster on. This is uh, not the guitar that I used. I didn't have this guitar when I was um, playing the last set of shows. I think I used a Gretsch um, Electromatic, just a kind of a 
a cheap uh, couple hundred dollar guitar that I could take on tour. But uh, we're going to go through all this with the Jazzmaster Ventura right here because I think it sounds pretty good. And this is what I would use, uh, you know, today if we were able to do some more shows, um, which you never know, might happen. Anyway, so uh, once again, tuner, I'm already all tuned up. Noise suppressor, this is pretty much already set the way that I use it. I'm not going to change that. Uh, you know, whammy pedal, I've already kind of gone through all of this. So let's just start out with some clean tones. Let's see, we'll have this off. And let's see, let's, uh, let me just show you what the delay and the holy grail kind of sound like. <laughs> Well, my amp setup, uh, I'll just show you here real quick, is in the other room. I've got an isolated amp, uh, and it's running through a little microphone here into my Apollo X4 and uh, into Logic, and that's the guitar sound that you're hearing. It's pretty straight through. I think maybe I have a Neve preamp uh, for the UA stuff, but other than that, it's pretty much ju just uh, the guitar through the pedal board through uh, my little quilter amp. It's a solid state, by the way. It sounds, sounds great for a solid state amp. Anyway, um, you know, this is uh, the clean sound. You know, we'll put a little bit of flurb on that here. Let's see what that kind of sounds like. You see, it kind of has that little chorusy effect. the whammy pedal for the octave like a something along those lines pretty cool sound all right um so that's pretty much what i use shift over and do some dirty stuff. I think you guys probably will like that. Let's turn everything else off except for, let's turn on the gray stash here. And you probably hear right away you just hear it. Um, cuts back a little bit when I go to the middle position. This is just kind of a noise thing I've got going on with this uh, interior jazz master. I'm going to line the, the cavity with some uh, copper or something pretty soon. But anyway. Pretty good drop sound. Chunky sound there. Let's see you in the sound. See, this is my other uh, big sound that I use. I do the whammy on the octave, uh, press this down, and then I've got like a sustain. Like a... Kind of like almost a Jack White sound, but you know, self uses that sound quite a bit for that. guitar there and obviously you can hear the noise suppressor kicking in right there if I, if I had that off it would you know, be a little bit noisier uh, so you know that's pretty much it uh, for what I use this stuff for let's see like if I needed some big solo sound I would probably kick on this and that and... Let's, uh, let's adjust this out a little bit let's see
করেন।